Hi everyone, this is YML and today we are going to talk about why the support vector machines are called large margin classifiers. This is a question that has been puzzling me for quite a lot and today I would like to dive deeper with you into this subject and see why this happens. And as you probably already know, what the support vector machines are trying to do is to classify the negative samples and the positive samples from a data set and there are many ways of separating these two classes with various decision boundaries for instance this is a plausible decision boundary that separates these two classes and also like this one would be like a plausible decision boundary but what the svm does is basically to find the best separating decision boundary between these two classes or the decision boundary that has like the largest margin okay so this is the margin or the highest like average distance between your samples and the decision boundary and why does the SVM try to find the best possible decision boundary that has like the highest margin well this property basically comes from the way it is defined here with these equations so what it tries to do is to minimize your parameters theta or your weights uh, with the following constraints uh, the first one is that your positive samples multiplied by your parameters here with the added bias the result is higher or equal to one and the opposite is true also for the negative samples so when you do a dot product of your negative samples with your parameters added bias the result must be lesser or equal than minus one and to understand the equations a little bit better let's take a deeper look at this term here because this one is really important okay so firstly let's look at two samples that are like really important for our case okay so is this sample here and also this sample here and for our data these samples are really important because these two are the support vectors and basically for these two vectors our computation of wtx plus b equals to one so this is for the positive samples and our computation for wtx plus b here for these negative samples is equal to minus one and why are these two vectors important in our case uh, well they're important because they will help us compute the distance between the two classes which is basically our margin and how do we do that basically we take like this vector here okay this is the x minus and we also take this vector here okay which is x plus and basically here the distance between the two is x plus minus x minus and now let's try to maximize the margin and see what we can derive from there so we have maximum from our margin is equal to maximum of x plus minus x minus but like this vector here is not exactly our margin to create our margin we have to project this vector on our weights or our parameters which are perpendicular to the on the decision boundary so we would have like to multiply this vector here with wt here and also we have to make this uh 
normal vector so we have to divide it by its norm and now let's derive this equation further and what we obtain for this one here is basically 1 minus b okay uh, why because remember that here we have like the support vector and for it wtx plus b is equal to 1 so basically you can say that wtx for this vector is equal to 1 minus b from here okay and we can do the same for the negative support vector so what we will obtain here when we multiply wt with x minus is basically minus 1 minus b okay and let's write it further so we have maximum of 1 minus b minus minus 1 minus b okay and everything divided by the norm of w and writing this further we obtain that this equals to maximum of 2 and here we have minus b and on the other side we have minus minus b which is equivalent to plus b so the b term disappears and we remain with 2 divided by the norm of w and this is equivalent to minimizing the weight of w these two here doesn't matter in a minimization or a maximization problem that much so we can ignore it okay so basically we obtain that when we are trying to maximize our margin d here this operation is equivalent to minimizing the norm of our parameters of the support vector machine which again is exactly what we are trying to do uh, in our definition so we can say that this one is equivalent to maximizing our margin so basically this is the reason why the support vector machines are called also large margin classifiers so with all this being said i would like to thank you for watching this video and please leave a like to it if you enjoyed it and until next time i hope that you have a wonderful time and yeah see you soon